it's fantastic. I can actually see the United Nations walking down the road to our school. Welcome to Woodville High School. When you walk through the school, you feel a warm bath of diversity. They get along and yeah, we just learn about each other's culture, yeah. For about six, seven years, we started developing lots of cultural activity around the multiculturalism. And then we started workshops around uh, the different cultural diversity in school for the staff and the students as well. We have Multicultural Week, Refugee Week, NAIDOC Week and Reconciliation Week. Not just celebrating things, it's more about how you support students to have an intercultural understanding. That global citizenship, which is one of the core general capabilities in the Australian curriculum. It's not easy living in a multicultural society. Public schools are absolutely crucial to develop the skills and capacities for people to be able to work uh, with this diversity. Today I'm going to tell you where my parents came from and they came from Philippines. I was born in a refugee camp in Tanzania and I live in Kenya for 16 years and I came to Australia and I started to learn English. Can you design a curriculum that will equip me to live in my world? As a part of our re-accreditation journey under the Council for International Schools, we are mapping the curriculum. The OECD, for the first time, they won't just be testing numeracy and literacy, they're actually going to be testing for something called global competence. The Council for International Schools will say, please show me where you are developing global citizens. Please show me where, how you are valuing diversity. I've had a focus on home language. So an example of that would be a year 10 poetry task. One of the poems could be in their home language which means that they need to connect with their families. There was a lot of um, really good work that was done in translating. A lot of my students actually said, oh, I went home and talked to mum, because I never asked her these questions before. Do we even have music in our country? The braiding project is about bringing coaches together and then finding the similarities and differences between the coaches and then braiding them together. The most demanding one from some teachers' point of view was when we said, well, let's do an interfaith one. We invited faith leaders. Our students were then trained to ask respectful questions. You swap ideas so that you know what this person is coming from, they know where you're coming from as well. After that, we intertwine all of the coaches together it's been really lovely that some of uh, my ex-students have contacted me and said, you know, one of the most powerful learning that I ever had that's taken me into my life is the braiding project and how now I'm equipped to listen to people and understand their different perspectives. We have different parent groups working together and have a voice. Parents and teachers in their school as a whole, because if we don't work in partnership, I don't think our kids can be successful. One of the things my parents loved it when they met Cliff and learned about the indigenous culture. It's really good because they didn't have that back at, in Bosnia to have an experience of what other cultures are like. The other thing is about student action. We don't manufacture student action, but in 2014, two of our refugee students on community detention were taken without any warning back into closed detention. Our students organised themselves to take action. They had no doubt that both individually and collectively they could make a difference. There's a lot of things that you don't hear in the news that you would hear from the personal perspective. It's always a new thing to learn from a different coach and a different person. All the research around the world shows that the greater the social mix of a school, the better the learning outcomes. And so in public schools, you're going to get the benefits of developing people that understand and appreciate diversity, but also advancing their own learning because of that social mix. We're actually assuming that it's... Set. It takes a special skill set. People who aren't scared of not knowing where an activity might lead them and knowing that they can bring it back to a positive outcome. So that's the plan? I'm really proud to be part of this learning experience with the kids.